Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Frank Lampard has been speaking about some of the decisions made in Saturday's Merseyside draw with Liverpool, Merseyside derby draw, where nil nil with Liverpool at Goodison Park. The Blues put in an excellent performance, uh, could have won it, could have lost it, but for an outstanding display by Jordan Pickford as well. Um, but Everton and Evertonians felt they were on the harsher side of some of the VAR decisions that took place at the weekend. Uh, one of them was whether or not Virgil van Dijk should have received a red card for a late challenge on Amadou Onana with about 20 minutes to go in the game. It's been looked at over the weekend. A lot of people have had their say and this is what Frank Lampard thought about the challenge. Sure. sure. Some, some talk before this derby and other derbies not that long ago recently about bad tackles and again I think a lot of people were going okay well, what are the players the ref just has a job to do and VAR do um, and I just think they got that one wrong in my opinion mm. interesting one isn't it because it's whether or not you can look at it and argue the case of was it just lazy by Van Dijk was it intentional I guess that's the difficulty with it but obviously in isolation when you look at it and certainly when you see the stills it looks like a bad challenge on Onana and we've seen other you know other instances where that kind of challenge has warranted a red card so uh, if that didn't we didn't get away with that one um, we also had a goal disallowed Connor Cody thought he'd give Everton the lead uh, we all thought it in the ground as well uh, it took a ridiculous amount of time to come to the decision that it wasn't a goal um, but Frank Lampard was a little bit more philosophical about it. Well, we're Everton, aren't we? He's going to be offside. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my, my instinct was it was going to be a bit close. I didn't really celebrate because I felt, you know, those ones that flash across can be can go either way, can't you? It's hard. It, I didn't have the angle to see it, but just, just by the nature of how he arrived on the goal line, I, I wondered whether he got there quick enough, because it was fired across from it, so I presumed he was in a, a possible offside position. Let's be honest, it should have stood. Connor Cody should have scored the winner. There you go. Um, moving on from that, uh, obviously Everton saw Neil Maupai make his debut at the weekend. He had a fantastic opportunity to uh, to score on his debut to give Everton the lead. Other than that, I thought he had a decent game. Uh, certainly showed what it looks like when you've got a proper striker in the team. We've certainly looked a lot better. And then obviously the attention then turns to when Dominic Calvert-Lewin is fit again. Uh, and this is what the manager had to say about Dom. Yeah, and Dominic's training next week. Uh, we hope for the middle of next week. So at that point then we have good options up front as a number nine, a Dominic type and a Neil Malpai type. But obviously Dominic is a big player for us here. I haven't been able to experience him as much as I would want but I experienced one of the best days of my life when he headed that ball in last year. So we understand what he can bring to the team. So once we hopefully get him fit and firing and our, our forward options um, look stronger naturally because he's an England striker. Mm. So there you go, Dom, you know, the manager obviously confirming that Dominic Calvert-Lewin is back in training this week. Whether or not he'll be fit enough to make the squad for Arsenal, don't know. Wait and see on that one. Hopefully he will. Just to have him on the bench, I think it'd be a big boost as well. Just to have that option of bringing him on. Uh, obviously, the manager had also confirmed that James Garner wasn't in the squad at the weekend just due to the fact he hadn't trained enough. He's missed quite a bit of training at Manchester United and he'd only had one session with the team. So, imagine he have a good week this week and then will be certainly in the squad to make the trip to the Emirates on Sunday for difficult game at Arsenal. And Adelaide Corey as well is uh, back in full training, so expect him to uh, to be in the squad as well. As Everton start to get a few more bodies back and, and to make it, the squad look even stronger. So there you go on that one. Uh, Dermot Gallagher has uh, tried his best to um, explain some of the decisions today when he does his, uh, his ref watch. To be honest, all he did was make himself look a bit stupid or certainly make the rules look stupid. Uh, one in particular, he, he obviously he backed the referees. He backs the referees on every decision, regardless of what they are. Um, he certainly backed the yellow card for Virgil Van Dijk. Said it wasn't a red. Talked about where the foot landed on the leg, uh, which is berserk. But there you go. That's Dermot Gallagher. Uh, why he wears all black as well? I don't know. Is he in mourning because he's not a ref anymore? I'm not sure. But um, but he was trying to explain the offside goal and. 
the fella who was doing it with him has ended up laughing at him because he's just made himself look a divvy or he's made the rule look stupid. Talking about the reason why it wasn't given was because James Milner doesn't try to play the ball. So he says it clearly hits Milner's foot and goes to Conor Cody, which is obviously a change because at times they give that goal of it deflects. They say you can't be offside, but he's saying it was offside because you've got to be in possession of the ball or you've got to actually play the ball. And when he was asked, well, what was Milner doing then if he wasn't playing the ball? He replied, well, he was trying to put a block in. And when the presenter asked, well, isn't that trying to block the ball? He didn't know what to say and everyone burst out laughing. So, you know, maybe a, a stand-up comedian might be next for Damon. I don't know, because he talks absolute wham on that. Uh, and finally, Everton had a couple of uh, players on loan make the debuts at their new clubs at the weekend. Lewis Warrington came on in the first half during Fleetwood Town's 1-1 draw at home to Wickham. Made his debut there. And Portuguese midfielder Andre Gomez came on as a second half substitute for Lille in their 3-1 win at Montpellier. Good luck to both of them. There you go. That is the news for today. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to become a Toffee TV Premier member, including two daily live shows, then click the link in the description or click the QR code that is on the screen now. See you later.